You can access the template editor in a couple different ways. When we were creating bulletins, you may have noticed the Edit Template button. If you click on this button, you will be able to edit this instance of the template. For example, if I create a bulletin and then click on the Edit Template button, this allows me to edit the bulletin, but it will leave the original template intact. If you're looking to change the template permanently, then head to the Media section. If you're creating or editing templates for yourself only, select the My tab. If you would like the template to be available to everyone, select the Zone tab, then click on Templates. If you're editing an existing template, we would recommend duplicating the template first, just in case you want to revert back to it. Just select the template, scroll down the page, and click Copy. Select Duplicate this template, and then click Copy. Then just click on the link of one of them, rename it, and edit the template. If you're starting from scratch, just click on the Add button. Start out by naming the template and entering the optional description. You can choose a background which will serve as the default. Users can always change the background when they create a bulletin. So now I want to add a picture. So I'll select Picture from the Add a Block list. The resolution can be changed under Size. You can scale the picture down by pixels using the arrow pad, or you can just type in the dimensions manually. Now to move it, we can either push it down and to the right by a certain amount of pixels, or by typing it in manually as well. If you want to rename your text to something more specific, you can enter that in the block name. Now I want to enter some text, so I'll add a text block, and then select it from the list. I want this to be my header, so I'll name it accordingly, and change the default text to the same thing. Then click Update. I'll align it to the right, and then shift it down by 20 pixels, and over to the right by 675 pixels. You can change the font, the font color, opacity, style, sizing, shadow, and outline. I'll turn off the outline for the header. So I can add another text block, select it, then name it Info as well as the default text, then click Update. I'll move it down by 120 pixels and to the right by 450 pixels. Then align it to the left. And again I will turn off the outline. If we turn on the backdrop temporarily, we can see how much space we have to deal with. So my text is only going to fill the space inside this black box. I want to increase that, so I'll type in 525 pixels of width and 180 pixels of height. So now that I know my text has more room, I can turn off the backdrop, or decrease the opacity, or just keep it as is. So the last thing I want to do is adjust the size of the text field. So keeping the info text block selected, let's select the text area from the field style list. So because of the size of the text box, I want the text field that users see when they're creating a bulletin to be a little bigger than a single field.
Just click save when you're finished.